the Curious Chicks and we're here with another great food review video for you. I found a really good deal to Florence, so I hopped on that deal. I picked up some goodies that I want to share today. Yay! I got two kinds of biscotti. So biscotti is a generic term for cookies or biscuits in Italian. And it, biscotti translates to twice cooked. There's biscotti, and then I heard cantucci, and then cantuccini. Cantucci is a particular type of biscotti or biscuit that originates from Prado in Tuscany. So that is what makes that different. Traditionally, it's made from almonds, and it's biscotti di Prado. So it seems like the legit one. It's from Prado, Tuscany, and it's made of almonds. And so it's like a dessert thing. You pair the biscotti with Vino Santo, or Vino Santo, which means holy wine, mm. and it's uh, dessert wine. Yeah, I'm really used to seeing people eating biscotti with coffee. That's here, people do that. Yeah, after all of our meals, they would bring us over a bowl of biscotti or cantucci with some of this Vino Santo, and so it's, yeah, it's very thick and sweet. Let's try it. Yes, let's try the traditional first, and then we have another one that's seems to be more just like a general biscotti dipped in chocolate. Ooh, okay, so I should also note that the difference between cantucci and cantuccini is obviously cantuccini is a smaller bite-sized version. I don't know that these are quite bite-sized, but I've seen them smaller than this. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing them like cut up small like this. Usually it's it's kind of like a long, a long biscuit. At least here, exactly. in here. Yeah, I've exactly. never seen them in small. Okay. Alright, let's try it. Go. Mm. Oh, it's crunchy. Mm. This is a lot crunchier and drier than the ones I had in Florence. I thought, I honestly thought that the first difference between biscotti and cantucci was that cantucci was softer and a little bit more chewy. Mm. But that's not true at all, and so maybe it's that it was more or less fresh. Mm. No clue. Uh, well, you know, it is pretty hard, and I know like when you dip it into coffee, wine, whatever, it softens up really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just kind of melts in your mouth mm -hmm. when you eat it. I'm sure this would do the same if we had something like that. Um, but it, it is definitely hard, hard to bite into. Yeah, I wish I brought back some Bean Santo to go with it. And the bottles came really big, so I couldn't fit it in my carry-on, so. But it has, it's just like a slight, sweet flavor to it. It's mm -hmm. not an overwhelmingly sweet flavor. Mm -hmm. There are some almonds in here. It's, they're not, not too many, not too little. I think it's mm -mm. a good amount. But it does have that almond flavoring. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I mean, that, I think it's very subtle in flavor because of the wine being so sweet. It's a nice yeah. complement to each other. It's a subtle sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. It's good. Yeah. All right, the big guns. And that's what I'm talking about. It's got chocolate on there. Yeah, I know. These are fun, so. And they're bigger, too. Much they're bigger. Larger. Yes. It's huge. Man. Shall we try? Yeah, I'm going on chocolate side. It works, too. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's chewier. I could bite through it, actually. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Oh. I'm Much good. softer. Yeah. I picked these up at a place called Italy in Italy. It's like a market. They have fresh food, like a deli and stuff too. Okay, it's really cool. And they have some now in America, so you might be able to pick up some of these products there actually. Mm. But all of these are made in Italy, and so legit. It's authentically Italian. Mm. It's not as hard to bite through. Mm. But again, you are probably going to be dipping this in something if you want to do it the traditional way, and it will just melt in your mouth and be so soft. Mm. I don't know that you have to dip it either. I you mean, don't. This one you don't need to because it's yeah. easy to bite into. But I think the harder ones, you would benefit from dipping it into something. It's so like biscuity. This one is sweeter because of the chocolate, mm. so it is more dessert-like to me. Mm. Um, it is pretty crumbly, so it kind of breaks apart pretty easily. Um, but yeah, I like them both. Oh, I'm gonna finish mine. Really this is good. <laughs> I also picked up two bags of truffle flavored chips. And so we have just plain truffle flavored and then truffle with honey mustard flavoring. Truffles are basically a fungus 
and they grow under certain trees like pine, oak, beech, poplar. While I don't think truffles originated in Italy, they're very prevalent in Italy, and they have a lot of truffle hunting things, like there's truffle hunting, it's like an activity that you would actually do in Italy. A lot of truffle flavored chips is not really truffle, there's no truffle in it, it's like a synthetic uh, agent that makes it taste like it. But this, I was looking, like the actual ingredients say truffle. It may be a very small amount, but there's truffle in it. I love truffle, it's becoming so popular everywhere now. It's subtle, but it's strong. I don't know how to explain it, like it's... I think it's one of those things that you either love it or you hate it kind of thing, because it's it's a very distinct taste. Do you like it? I like it. Ooh, that's strong smell. Ooh, yeah. Wow. So these are looking thick and high quality potato slices there. Hmm. Yeah. Hefty. Oh, they are pretty thick. All right, cheers. High quality chip going in my mouth. Crunchy. What do you think? I like the texture. Yeah. The flavor, it, it smells stronger than yeah, yeah. the flavor I'm getting. You can smell it. I can smell the truffle on it, and it's the truffle is like a lingering kind of aftertaste. Mm. But I like it. I like that it's not too salty. A lot of times chips are just a little bit too salty. Um, and I really like the texture. I like how it's thick. Look at, oh my gosh, all that air and barely any chip. <laughs> the smell of this one's not as strong to me. No. Okay. Okay, okay cheers. I like these better. Mmm. Mm. It's like sweet from the honey mustard. Yeah. I taste that right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. The honey mustard definitely hits me first, but it's not overpowering honey mustard. Do you taste the truffle? Not really. I don't either. You like these better? Um, slightly. Slightly. If I'm trying to say this is good as a truffle chip, I would say no because I don't really taste the truffle. But I do like it as it's just a chip in general. I like the flavor. Mm. The flavor. I love, love, love the texture of these, this brand of chips. That hearty crunch, it's not like super thin. Oh, what would you compare it to, like kettle chips? Mm-hmm. Aren't you jealous? I would be too. Mm. All right, well, at least you know that you can actually pick some up because there might be an Italy near you. Or maybe not, maybe you can get them on Amazon or something. Or just go to Florence. I mean, they're... Yeah, just go to Italy. Yeah, just go to Italy. So for more information on the products that we just taste tested today, you can check out the video description below. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram at Curious Chip.